Well, hello there, YouTube. PD Two Finger back with a quick tip, quick suggestion. Uh, using a rare earth or neodymium, neodymium. How do you pronounce that? One of these fancy magnets, a super powerful little magnet to remove a metal sliver. Now, last night I reached into a bag of wire, and when I pulled my hand out, it felt like my uh, like somebody slashed me with some razors, and it was right in this soft kind of let's adjust this light. This kind of fleshy part in right in the where you bend your finger it's right in there and ooh that bothered me so this was going back 24 hours and I thought you know what I'm gonna grab one of those magnets so I've got this one here it's one millimeter thick and ten millimeters or one centimeter in diameter yeah from from here to here it's ten or one centimeter I guess I would say so I put that on my finger and I pulled my hand away and it stuck. It stuck. I could not believe it. The magnetic force of this neodymium rare earth magnet was strong enough. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to carefully pull this back. And I did that. And when I did that, now I'm able to rub my hand all over. And I can feel where I've done some damage because I was poking all around with a fresh X-Acto blade. And it got slashed up. Whatever unusual uh, demonic metal demon chupacabra attacked my fleshy part of my finger yesterday when I reached into that bag of wire did some sort of damage. But I swear, I was doing this before, and every third time I would run my finger off, it would feel like you know someone was stabbing me. And it's gone. So this is a hallelujah moment for me. And to be honest, uh, this type of stuff is just, it, it's avoidable. You know, I've got a couple pairs of work gloves, leather gloves. So um, most times when I get this type of thing is when I'm doing some type of metal working or there's demons abound, where, which is fragments of metal, call those demons. And you want to make sure you take a second and uh, put your gloves on. That's the best idea to avoid these in the first place but if you find yourself with a fresh metal sliver and I wish I would have done this immediately right when it happened if I would have thought because that's probably the time when it's uh, before it's working its way in you know and getting even deeper so if you have some rare earth magnets if you don't go on eBay they're a dollar for a 10 pack of the little ones five uh, five millimeter or three millimeter, you can get all different sizes of them. And uh, I got a 10 pack of fives and a 10 pack of three uh, for a dollar each. It was two bucks to get 20 of these magnets. So this worked out really well for me. I never would have thought in a million years that a uh, rare earth magnet would be strong enough to do the job and take care of that problem for me, but I'm thrilled. So rare earth magnet actually removes metal sliver. News at 9. <laughs> Peace.